I made a mistake when I testified saying that I had sold all stock. I honestly so, thought we had. So wait but a minute. I was so, wrong. so I'll reclaim my so, time. You're a lawyer. You know that perjury, you cannot go you back and say I made a mistake. Perjury exists when you give a false statement under oath, which you did. Oh, did you not? No, I did not intentionally. I thought we had divested of all stocks. We had divested Look, this of is, all. This is the colossal ego thoughts. of this administration that people and the American people are frustrated with. Thank you, Secretary Granholm. Uh, for being here. And uh, I'm going to get into a topic which I know that's not going to be popular, but I, I think it's really important. Um, and so, Mr. Chairman, I ask unanimous consent to insert four articles into the record detailing Secretary Granholm's various ethics issues and two articles from the Department of Energy's website concerning its ethical policies. First, without, I just want to... Without exception. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is an article from Reuters, uh, U.S. Secretary... Uh, Energy Secretary Granholm violated ethics laws, Watchdog says. An article from CNN, Biden touts electric car company potentially worth millions for his energy secretary. Uh, from Washington Free Beacon, Energy Secretary's husband held stock in Ford as administration approved billions in electric vehicle subsidies. Next article from Fox News, Biden Energy Secretary Granholm admits false testimony about owning stocks. The next I want to just point out and, and put these for the record, Mr. Mr. Chair, just so people have them. These are ethics, 14 principles of ethical conduct for federal employees. That's right on the Energy uh, website. Ethics, impartiality in por performing official duties. Uh, want to be sure that- objection. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So since taking office, I know uh, Secretary, or uh, my colleague, Mr. Iser referred to some of these issues, but since taking office, in January of 2021, Secretary Granholm has violated the Hatch Act multiple times. She's owned Proterra stock while her boss, President Biden, repeatedly promoted the company. We saw this huge payout. Uh, she admitted three months after she took office. Her husband owned Ford stock while she personally promoted the company's work with official resources, and she cashed in on millions of dollars after these illegal transactions and failure to disclose obvious conflicts, conflicts were revealed. As you said, you, it took you uh, three months before you actually sold the stock. And most critically, she lied under oath to Congress, claiming she did not own any individual stocks when, in fact, she did. Anyone disputing these charges could consult to these articles that I've put in the record. They're available for everyone. And uh, I just want to go to uh, Madam Secretary, the DOE's ethical rules, uh, or federal, generally federal employee ethics laws, provide that, quote, public service is a public trust. Employees must place loyalty to the Constitution, the laws, and ethical principles above gain, as I cited in the ethical principles that are part of your own department. Do you believe that any Department of Energy or other federal employee violating this rule should resign or be removed from office for this position? First of all, let me say that we take ethics. That's a yes very, or no question. Do you think if someone violates very, the ethical laws set forth in this, that you took, you said you signed a statement, uh, an ethical statement that you would comply with the laws, do you think that a DOE employee or other federal employee who violates these laws should step down from that position? Is that that's a yes or no? If they violate the ethics laws, set I understand forth what in you're the, trying to do. Well, here. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm asking trying, you a specific no, question. Okay, you so have, you're not going to answer made the question. A number of allegations that I feel I, I put against me I'm personally. A, this is that my I, time, Mr. I, I, Mr. I know, Mr. Chairman. But you've um, made these out there, and I feel it is let me important just, to respond. Let me respond. just tell you, this is what you you uh, you did not answer the yes or no question. You obviously believe that it's okay to violate the ethics rules. Of course, as you've I done. do not believe it's in, but okay let's, let's to violate it, ethics laws. It, nor does anyone else in the right, Department so of Energy. This is my time. So what you're trying to say is afterwards, once I realized and I spoke to Congress that I was not telling the truth about what's happening, I went back and admitted, oh, I made a mistake. So admitting the truth after being caught lying doesn't actually cure perjury. I don't know if you know that legally. I know you're an attorney. So you've admitted to testifying falsely and then came back and said, I corrected it later. But that doesn't cure the fact that you actually committed perjury. We've actually impeached presidents uh, over committing perjury. And this is actually in, involved in your, in your official duties. Also, after signing an ethics uh, oath that you said that you signed and admitted to today, and on top of admitting that it was three months after you took office that you actually sold the stock 
on the private market, as, as Daryl, uh, uh, Congressman Issa put out. So to me, that's perjury, and that's simple. That's, that's perjury, period. Why should you not resign, or why should we not consider uh, some kind of impeachment inquiry into you for your perjury charges? We've done that with presidents of the United States in the past. Number one, I made a mistake when I testified saying that I had sold all stock. I honestly so, thought we had. So wait but a minute. I was so, wrong. so I'll reclaim my so, time. You're a lawyer. You know that perjury, you cannot go you back and say I made a mistake. Perjury exists when you give a false statement under oath, which you did. Oh, did you not? No, I did not intentionally. I thought we had divested of all stocks. We had divested Look, this of is, all. This is the colossal ego stocks. of this administration that people and the American people are frustrated with. You serve the American people. You don't serve President Biden. You don't serve a special interest. You serve the American people. Of and course. We would appreciate you coming forward on this. I am coming forward if you would let me explain. Uh, Look, I appointees with lesser conflicts, honestly, would have withdrawn their nomination or they would resign from office. Thank you. I yield back. My There's time. no conflict. The OIG has investigated the Proterra issue uh, and determined that there was no conflict. The gentleman conflict. yields back. 